Bunker silage management. Here I'll show you a quick test on how to t tell how how well packed it is. And all you need is a pitchfork and some muscles. So we use a cat a cat roller, vibratory roller, plus another tractor for packing. And it gets pretty good, especially right here in this area. We did some probes in the past, but um, here, this is just like a real farmer. Like stick it, can you, how easy you can stick it in. Like right here is always gonna be packed the hardest because you're in from the edge and you drive a little bit more. Then as you poke it, it gets easier. Right there is it, right here is where we're not doing a good job. I can push, the fork goes right in. When you, up. Oh, that's a little better. So really, you should have to really work. To, uh, if you're doing a good job, there's no way your fork should be able to go in. But up here in the corners, up in the corner, it's like really easy. And just by probing right here, it's pretty easy as well. So our, our places to improve are up here in the corners, but it's hard to do it. You know, when we're filling, you don't really want to drive right near the edge. And I'm not sure how you get the edge perfect as hard as down here. Because down here, it's a lot of work. You, can, you wouldn't want to do this by hand. You can hardly do anything with a pitchfork. Up in the corners, it'd be no problem at all. So that, that's why you have, we have more mold in the corners. So here we're on top of the bunker. So this, we're on top of the bunker. You can see all the tires here that kind of, as you're coming back through, it's easier to throw your tires in a pile here than what it is to go nicely put them away. But overall, you can see all the tires and I'll show you the plastic. So here, here we're using, here's our three sheets. This is the oxygen barrier, and this is the sheet that comes up from the side. The side sheet will end probably right, ar right around the middle. So we start out with the oxygen barrier, the side sheet that comes up across, and then, and then the final top layer that just goes across the width. Because the reason we have so many sheets is trying to get here at the corner, it's really hard to get everything or not to have any, any spoilage. And we put this towel pipe on top. So to protect the sheet, because we lay the, the, the side sheet or the corner sheet, we lay up across while we're filling. And then we're, when we're done, we lay it, back, lay it back down. Then we put the tires down. Ideally, they're touching each other, but it's a lot of work, and it doesn't always happen that way. In my opinion, we're compacting pretty well. There's no, no real spoilage across the top. If, you, if you're seeing mush across the top, you need to be doing a better job on, on plastic and packing the final layer. So, th yeah, this is, we've got 170 cows here. We built this about 14 years ago. We got more into agribusiness since then, but this is my dad's farm. Dad and brother-in-law take care of the cows, and we do a lot of silage facers and dairy equipment. So that's a backstory of this. this. We have enough of silage for one and a half years worth because we noticed the butter fat would often get better around January. So we're keeping enough of silage to last till January because the fermentation seems to have completed. The, the digestibility is better if you, if you never feed silage that's fresher than six months.